Hello, it's me again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, use an Ethernet IP relay uh, module you know, on the Jetson uh, Nano or Xavier. It's actually pretty easy. I know a lot of you, we, they like to use the GPIO pins for that, but this is, you're going to be surprised how super easy this is. So, first of all, uh, this is what I got. I got this. This is from uh, Amazon. And uh, it's only like 35 bucks. And the only thing you need to look out for is um, some of them, you can't change the IP address. So uh, down here in this description, it'll say that the IP address can't be changed. But this one doesn't. So this one's good. And, and these are the commands that we send to it over like a, a, a web browser. So as you can see, I've got it one already here already. And what's nice about it is it runs off five volts. So it's the same power as the Nano. So you can just tap right off uh, your Nano's power and, and use this. So you don't need any additional power. comes with eight relays. These are dry contact relays, which means you have to supply the power that they're going to switch. And they have an LEDs on them that tells you if they're on and off. So this is this is pretty neat, and then it's you know Ethernet connection right here. I don't know if you can see that. Right here is the Ethernet. So it's pretty good. So once you get it, it you you can uh, you, you know you hook it up and power it up, and uh, you can uh, if you log on to it, the the IP address defaults to one ninety two one sixty eight one four. But I've changed mine right here. And uh, right here, oh, I guess you can change it right here. And you can put your new IP address in it and your port. The port here is three, one, two, three, three, thirty thousand. You know, you can change it, whatever you like. And then you can use this to turn it on and off. Let's see, it's five. I can go, we can go back. To the other page is one. Okay, so but we want we don't want to use this. You know, we want to use it for uh, on the nano to do stuff. So anyway, like here, uh, pay, pay, kind of look at this. You see this number up here as I change things. That changes. Those are the commands that we're going to send using uh, the request. It's called the requests on a module. Okay. So we're going to actually send these requests right here. So uh, what you want to do is you want to go over here and I basically pip install requests right here. And I, I've already got it loaded so it's going to pretty much say that hey you've already got it. And then you type in uh, requests. Let's see. The requests. Oh no, we gotta do Python first. So I spelled that right. Nope. P Y T H O N three. Okay, and then now uh, import requests. Spell that requests. Is that right? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we can do this. So you just grab this section right here, put it over here, and uh, put our IP address in. So we'll do this. We'll backspace it. And uh, HTTP colon backslash backslash 172.27. Nope. 16.2.105. That's the, that's the uh, IP address of the board. 
and then what we do is we do a slash 30,000 slash 02 okay so there's that one and then we put a colon there and a print uh, bracket and so we got to get rid of this this doesn't belong there okay, so we need r dash requests no dar r equals requests See, and you can see, uh, was it on? Okay, let's turn it off. So go back in there again. Do in the three, and it comes on. You know, and then uh, by the way, if you look up here, every time you do one of these, you can see what it does, so you know which relay to go to. That's five. That's four. So you just send these commands right here. Now, so this is uh, fine as it is, but uh, we're not going to use this. We want to use uh, our, you know, maybe Python. We want to run it in our Python script or, or things like that. So, well, let's go ahead and turn this off. Oh, nope, right there. So, um, Anyway, so I've got uh, some scripts I've run. Let's see. I got relay all off, relay all on, relay off, relay on, and they're super simple. Like here, that's that one. That's all it is. It's basically this in just the Python script. There's that. This is relay on, relay off. Very simple. And this is all off. And you see it's a 44. That, that, that turns them all off. And then all on. So, so we come down here. Let's uh, run these. What do I, which one do I want? I want to do all on. See, they're all on. I want to do them all off. By the way, I, you have to, you know, I, you know, I had to uh, CD into my folder, and that's why I'm running these. And there's another thing to, to point out. Make sure your this whatever number you set this IP to, your local address is set to the same uh, data or the same range. On this, I have mine set to uh, my wire connection. It's 172.16.255, so it's in the same range. And then we can do the other ones. We do this. Uh, let's see what else. Relay off, relay on. I think that's two. Anyway, I'm just showing like this is super simple. I know, and this is just an alternative to running the GPIO pins. I know it might, it takes up, it'll take up like the, if you want to utilize the Ethernet port, but you could probably, if you don't want to take up an Ethernet port, you can probably use a USB Ethernet adapter in there. So you just take up a USB port to do it. And then it frees up your uh, Ethernet port on your Nano or Xavier to do other things. So, but anyway, it's just like super easy and, you know, it's, you got some relays uh, externally. So. All right, well, I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, thanks a lot.